is Mark Molnar for your 2015 Hurricane Outlook. Let's get right into the names this hurricane season. We can already cross Anna and Bill off the list here as we started off pretty early this year. This is my prediction. I think we will get a good portion through this list despite it being a moderate El Nino year. Let's explain why here. This is why, of course, I have my outlook here, nine named storms. We've already gotten through two. So we looking, I'm looking at about seven more named storms here. And of course, I believe two to three of those will become hurricanes. And I believe we will have one major hurricane this 2015 season. So that being said, El Nino will play a very big role this 2015 season. It's always the warming of the ocean off of of course, it has to be the surface off the coast of the South American continent. And we're looking at a 1 to 1.5 degrees Celsius warming sea surface temperature anomaly, enough to get us a moderate El Nino. Moderate El Nino typically means wind shear here across the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, and the Atlantic Basin, and eventually the Eastern Atlantic Basin as well. These are upper level winds, 1 to 2 kilometers upward, that usually shear the tops off of these tropical wave thunderstorms. And as they head off the tropical convergent zone here off of the Cape Verdes and off the coast of Africa, we typically encounter those that upper level El Nino wind shear here. And that's what inhibits a lot of development. That being said, I still believe we could see some popular storm tracks and a good amount of storms this hurricane season. And it only takes one major hurricane to make it a blockbuster type year. Let's take a look. The most popular storm track I think will be very much like last year, right off the Cape Verdes, extending off just east of Bermuda and recurving back out into the North Atlantic here. That'll be where the less wind shear will be prevalent, which means we could get a few hurricanes out here. I also think we'll get some development like we've been seeing here in the Gulf of Mexico. It will spin up rather quick, but head inland very quickly. So most of these will not have a chance to become a hurricane. Same off the Carolina coastline here. Let's take a look at sea surface temperature anomalies. This is not very impressive. The only major anomalies above normal here in the North Atlantic towards Newfoundland over towards Nova Scotia and off the northeast coast to the United States into the North Atlantic. Most of the Atlantic Basin, as you can see here, has a below sea surface temperature, temperature anomaly here, as much as one to as much as two degrees Celsius below normal, even stretching into the Caribbean and the southern Gulf of Mexico. It's not until you get towards the central and the northern Gulf of Mexico, you get a little bit positive here, half a degree Celsius to as much as one degree Celsius above normal, which basically supports my theory that we'll have a lot of systems that develop near the coastline, spin up, and then head inland very quickly. Not enough time to become a major hurricane, to say the least. So there you have it. That is my rundown on the 2015 hurricane season. And of course, El Nino plays a very big role in this this year, much more than last year, but I still believe we'll get nine named storms. We've already had two. That brings us to seven more storms from mid-June all the way through the end of October. So if you want to follow me, continue to follow me this hurricane season, follow me on Facebook, like me on Facebook, at MediaMark, Twitter at WX Northeastern, website MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. And don't forget to visit me at Google Plus at Media Mark and continue to turn, tune in this hurricane season where I will keep you ahead of all of these tropical storms, hurricanes, and tropical depressions here at Media Mark's Weather Northeastern.